Good afternoon, everyone. We'll get started with questions for Coach Clifford. First question, Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Steve, on, uh, on a second review, a review of the film, what were some of the things that really struck you from last night's game? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the things that we just went over, it was more film and just walked through today. But, you know, obviously our transition defense, um, you know, the turnovers, uh, which, you know, they do. a It's one of their big strengths. But we also had a number, particularly in the first quarter where, you know, just, you know, not not taking care of the ball the way we needed to. Um, and then the other part is, you know, putting putting more pressure on the defense. Um, if you look at it, uh, really, since the trade deadline, one of the things we've been able to do well, we've been getting to the free throw line consistently. And the games when we play better, we make threes. And the games when we don't make threes, we've struggled. Um, and a lot of that is that, uh, you know, we're just inconsistent with the amount of times that the ball hits the paint. And so much of that is it's a two-on-two -two pick and roll, two-on-two -two flash, two-on-two -two dribble handoff. Uh, and those were the things that they defended well last night. Philip Rossman Reich, Orlando Magic Daily. Um, I guess uh, first, good to see you, Coach. Glad to ha glad to see you see you back. Um, Thank you. Um, kind of building off that point, um, and I know you said in the past that you know statistics, especially kind of box score stats at this point of the year, can be a little bit deceptive. How are how are you measuring you know whether this whether this team is growing in the way that you want, or or what are the things that you are looking for to see this see this team kind of grow in these final six games? No, it, it's to be honest, that's what we met with as a staff about today. You know, what's um, what's realistic, what's fair and what's doable. You know, um, even today, today's the first time we've practiced since uh, the day before we played New Orleans, you know, because of the schedule. Um, and I think that's every team, by the way. It's not like we have a disadvantage. I mean, I, I talked to all the other coaches. We're just playing so much. And then, you know, we played five and seven. There's no time to practice. And the guys are, uh, as you can tell, are, are, are tired. So it's got to be a teaching part. And the one thing I do know is this. Two of the things that we're really struggling with, you can get better. And I just told them this on the plane ride. One is running back on defense. You know, that, that there's, there's no drills that you need to do. There's drills that you can do to emphasize it. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's emphasis, you know, and everybody buying into this will help our team. And then the second one is we're really struggling defensive rebounding, you know, and that's another one is, you know, um, listen, people ask that there's certain things, you know, when you coach that you, you know, you feel are important that you try to get your team to do. We've always been good in defensive transition and we've always been good at defensive rebounding. And we never do drills for either one of them. We don't, ever. It's We show it. We talk about it. We make sure they understand by the numbers how important it is. And I just told them that. If everybody has the right attitude about blocking out and not leaking out and everybody trying to rebound and everybody sprinting back on defense every time we miss a shot, we can become a much, a much better defensive team by the time we land in Charlotte here later today than we are right now. So um, it's a, it's your, your question is, that's my question. You know, that's what we're trying to figure out. Um, but I do know that there's some things at this level, whether guys have been together or not, that we should be able to do better than we are without a ton of practice time. Josh Robbins. Steve, Phil mentioned that, as something that I think you have said in the past, that you got to be careful about putting too much emphasis on statistics this late in the year under these circumstances. Uh, obviously, RJ has some inflated statistics. I'm curious, are, what are the areas where he feels where he appears more um, grounded or more in command of his purpose of play lately? Well, it's so funny. So he's one of the guys that I just talked to. So to me is when he has space, you can see he has exceptional instincts. He can, he can drive the ball to either hand. He can change directions. He has very good body control. 
He has size. Um, he has the ability to finish around the basket with either hand. I mean, I go back to, he's made a bunch of nice shots, but like the third basket he made at Detroit, you guys may remember over one of the bigs, the lefty finish. Uh, that was, that was a big time play. Um, and so that, and then the other part is to me is, is that he can pass off the dribble, which is for perimeter players to get today. That's one of the things that you look for because it shows again, he has natural instincts. He doesn't take the extra dribble. Like when he's driving the ball and he sees an open teammate, he has the ability. He just moves it. Whereas a lot of guys cannot do that. They don't see it quick enough and they're not as skilled with the ball. Those are the things that you can build on. I just think he has to continue as a young player um, with a mentality to be a two-way player, a two-way player. And he's not a knockdown range shooter yet, obviously, but he's not a non-shooter. Um, and I think time with Bruce here uh, in, in the offseason, I actually think that he can be a very good shooter. The, the stats, the advanced stats show that he's got a very unusually high defensive rebounding percentage for a player at his position. Uh, are there, is, it, is that, from what you see, a function merely of his size, or is there a, a level of technique that he exhibits that is impressive? Well, I, I think that, what, you know, one thing is, one thing that's very interesting, Josh, and I think you guys know this, is it's always been this way. The one statistical area that's usually a direct parallel from college to the NBA is rebounding more than anything else. There are guys that can shoot in college that don't shoot well in our league. There are guys that, you know, don't shoot well in college and they shoot well in the NBA because they work on it. Assist numbers vary, you know, because the, the level of competition. But for whatever reason, guys that rebound in college or, you know, he didn't play in college, but rebound when they're young, they rebound. And even like the offensive, uh, you know, the offensive tip in or dunk that he has last night, he has a knack for timing and getting the ball at his highest point off the rim. You know, and to me, again, those are instincts. I mean, that's not something that you teach or, or anything like that. So I would say that's part of his, you know, his talent. Okay, any final questions for, oh, go ahead, Josh. Yeah, sorry about that, Owen and, and Coach. Uh, have you, I know it's early yet that uh, the injury report hasn't been decided. Have you gotten any word whether Wendell will be allowed to play tomorrow? Yeah, he's not, he's not going to be coming to Charlotte with us. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll be ready by uh, Sunday. Um, and he looked a lot better today, but he, he's, you know, he's not, you can tell he's not, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's not feeling great, uh, better than yesterday, but, you know, so hopefully by Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks coach.